Com slash Harrow Community Radio. Well, let's start right off and say hi to our very good friend Gaz Reynolds. Hi, good morning, Gaz. How are you doing? Hello, Gary. It's uh, good to be back, and uh, thanks ever so much. Um, really looking forward to the interview today. Great. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to hearing some of the new music you have uh, to tell us about, and also uh, tell us about what's been happening. Uh, yes, there's uh, quite quite a lot um, that's been happening, TV shows, radio interviews, all kinds of stuff since I last saw you, plus a relaunch of another venture that I've got, which um, I, probably your listeners wouldn't have even known about and might be surprised that I'm involved in. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's a venture that I know now a teeny weeny bit about, and I'll tell you, it's probably the w- one of the most frightening things that I can ever imagine uh, <laughs> in, in terms of, of jobs. Uh, if someone to ask me name one of the five jobs I wouldn't want to do, it would probably be right up there on on the top of the list. Uh, only the driving school and being a driving instructor. <laughs> uh, being a driving instructor, uh, because uh, I mean I have taught some people to drive, but this was in Africa where we went on these country roads that were nobody around in miles, and the worst they could do is is run the car into a soft little banana bush or something. <laughs> Uh, and so it wasn't so bad, but uh, taking somebody on the streets of London, I think I would just die. And there's plenty to crash into round Harrow. <laughs> uh, that's for sure. Uh, so um, where do you want to start? Do you want to start with music or do you want to start with, um, with um, the driving school? Well, I can start off with the driving school. I mean, basically, um, a, lot of, a lot of your listeners might be surprised that, um, in fact, it's just recently, um, some months back, uh, when I uh, was... I. A few years back, actually, when I was uh, sort of full-time music industry and I was touring, um, I started to realise at some point um, the music side of of me might run out. And uh, so I was looking for another venture. And I don't know why, but in the back of my mind, I remember when I passed my driving test all those years ago, my driving instructor said to me, one day this is something you might want to do. And it always stayed in in my mind, and uh, years later, I decided to go and train to be an instructor whilst I was still releasing records and and running my record label, World Domination Records. And I soon realised I actually enjoyed teaching and uh, meeting lots of different people out in the community. And it wasn't long before I was getting very high pass rates and and I established my own driving school. And then all of a sudden, uh, because I came from that industry of television and radio, there was a lot of celebrities coming to the school as well. So I've had um, quite a lot of of, uh, sports um, personalities. And we've also, well, me at the moment, I'm teaching two stars from Game of Thrones um, to drive. (laughs) So, I mean, the thing is, um, I suppose at the end of the day, um, everybody needs to learn to drive. And uh, uh, I I was watching an interview with Belinda Carlisle the other day. I don't know if you remember her. Yeah, yes, of course. And uh, she's actually, she still tours and she still releases records, but she's actually training now to be um, a yoga trainer. And uh, so I just thought, well, if she if she can publicly go out and start talking about all of that stuff, then I guess I can as well. And uh, recently, um, Nick Ferrari from LBC Radio actually um, contacted me and asked me to appear on his show because the driving school was attracting so much attention. And so I was on his show for for an hour. And after that, <laughs> well, now um, all of the, the we've just relaunched my driving school, and so it says as featured on LBC Radio because we we got permission to basically use LBC's name in in all the advertising. And since then, I've been on a number of TV shows, including something to do with Sport Relief, which went out on Friday, um, which is good good news for the driving school, but also for my record label. And of course, we'll give you permission to use as featured on Hero Community Radio. Thank you, and I was going to ask. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, uh, what I'm going to do is sort of tie this in because uh, I'd like to play a song just now from probably Britain's worst driver. <laughs> um, he's he's just released his new long-awaited album. It's a it's George live Michael, album. isn't it's George it? Michael. Yeah, I realised. <laughs> yes, of course. And uh, this song is absolutely stunning. You uh, never know; he might be tuned in, and he might want to come for a refresher course he, at my he, school. Well, George, if you're listening, <laughs> we'll do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be one pretty, pretty hazardous one, though, because he's he's had his record of of crashes. I he's think. had quite a few. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I, I've got a song by George Michael, and then we'll be back with more of Gaz coming up in just a sec right here on HCR. 
For nine o'clock on the Sunday brunch, an absolute classic. Uh, I mean, his his voice has really come back, and this is the George Michael that we loved from years ago. That's right, and we was just talking about George off off air, weren't we, yeah. Gary? And I was saying um, I've been following his career for the past few years. And he's had a few singles out which have sounded absolutely awful and they were auto-tuned in his voice because he completely lost his voice and his confidence. Um, but it seems like he's got himself sorted out now and, um, and he's back, so that's, that's great news. And he's a, he's a local guy as well, Bushy. And um, funnily enough, I met his dad just a few weeks ago. He used to own a kebab shop down in Edgware. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, by the way, I want to say hi to uh, Carol. She's tweeted in uh, this morning talking about some of the lovely people uh, at the Harrow Committees uh, that, that uh, she met yesterday. Uh, and well done to everybody, including the people here at HCR. Uh, and then she's hashtagged it brain dead. Uh, they had a, a quiz <laughs> yesterday uh, for, for a charity. Uh, it's, it's a busy day this weekend, a busy weekend here in Harrow. Uh, a lot going on, uh, the yeah. active Harrow. Uh, I'm going to have to run down at some point this morning. Uh, we'll talk about everything that has been uh, going is going on today as well. Lots going on today. So, um, so tell us a bit more about uh, your driving school then. Well, um, basically, I started the driving school up um, some time back, and uh, this month, um, in fact, just a few days ago, we relaunched the driving school, all brand new cars, um, and it, it does actually say as featured on LBC, because there was a big feature on my driving school on LBC radio, um, and... Um, Subsequently, there's been a number of features on television shows. I've actually been doing a couple of TV interviews to do with the school, which I guess is quite unusual um, for a driving instructor who owns a driving school to appear on TV. But um, it's uh, it's one of those schools that attracts just about everybody, from your learner drivers to your celebrity drivers. <laughs> so, um, so I've been kind of uh, very, very lucky and blessed that way and I think a lot of the attention also comes from the fact that I own a record label and I've had um, you know a number of records out um, <laughs> myself and so um, that just attracts a lot of attention there's quite a lot of press uh, and we've got very very good Google rankings as well so um, you know it's just um, great to have another outlet for um, uh, an income if you like <laughs> okay but well, i haven't left the music industry i might yeah. e e emphasize and yeah. uh, and i have it got a new single on the way okay. in the summer and, and we're going to talk about uh, that in just a bit uh, i wanted to ask you a driving related question yeah because uh, this one I, I have a u.s driving license right uh, which expires i i've had been driving for, for 50 years now uh well legally for like 45 years, say. And my license expires in 2016. Uh, when I first came here to the UK, it was just supposed to be a temporary visit uh, while they were working on my new office in another part of the world. So I never bothered to get a UK driving license. Right. Um, and now it's been more than, well, I, it'll be, be seven years next month. Might be worth getting a UK <laughs> yeah. driving license. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and I understand that I will have to take the test. Uh, that uh, if I had gotten it in the first year, I could just say, "Here's my U.S. driving license." That's right. And they yeah. would have given me. Now, do I have to go to a driving school before I? You, it would be advisable. Um, you can always pop along to my school. <laughs> 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 um, you will have to take the theory test again as well. Yeah. So, uh, so you'll have to go through the full process. I mean, basically, the UK's adopted the American system, which is theory test and practical test. Uh, the difference with our system is that the training's on road and the test is on road. As I understand it, in America, it's off road. Uh, the theory is, yeah, it's all a written off road test yeah. uh, uh, with multiple choice questions, and you have to get like forty percent or something to pass it. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much the yeah. same same system here. Yeah. They don't make it easy here and, and uh that's one thing that I'm always emphasizing. Um it is a very high standard test now and um there are a number of requirements that you have to, to meet. Yeah. But if you're well trained, you understand what to do, then you know I, I, I don't want to boast, but we generally have very, very, very <laughs> high first-time pass rates, and we've uh, we've got a YouTube channel. Um, if anybody's interested in driving, learning to drive, or driving driving refresher courses, head over to my driving school, which is www. 
gr8 that's the number eight drive.com and we've got a really cool youtube channel which has got lots of um video testimonials and and tv interviews that i've done radio interviews etc yeah. and by the way anybody listening saying oh my god he's breaking the law i don't drive here uh, I haven't driven at all in the UK. I have a uh, very nice car service. Picks me up, takes me where I need to go, drops me off. I don't have to worry about parking. I don't have to worry about paying uh, car tax and MOTs and all of that. Uh, and actually, it sort of works out probably cheaper for me at the moment because uh, I don't need to go do a lot of driving. I mean, really, the only driving I, I have is coming here to the studio and back. Uh, because I live practically next to my office where I work. So, uh, and someday if I ever decide that I need to do a lot of driving, I, I will probably get that. But I'm still hoping that they eventually will move me to my new office where it was supposed to be, uh, which was in a much warmer climate. <laughs> I'm, s- I'm so glad, actually, that, um, that I actually learned to drive because um, I can't remember how old I was, but probably 21 or 22 and I was in the music industry at the time but I was also uh, a social worker strangely enough (laughs) and um, uh, when I passed my test uh, years later that license came into very good stead because I'd launched the record label and um, as many people who are in the music industry will know your royalty checks don't come in straight away they can take many many years (laughs) many many (laughs) and uh, and I was running short of cash and and so I was looking for a a business to invest into very very quickly that I could turn some money over from Um, and I came up with the idea of a driving school Unfortunately, um, I've made a, a big success of that as well, and the record label is doing very well as well now. So, um, but at the time, uh, the record label was running at a loss, and I just managed to get into the driving school. And then, funnily enough, we started getting lots of celebrities coming as well. So that's been sort of an added bonus in a way. <laughs> well, as I was saying, um, you know, uh, we've just relaunched my driving school. We've got all no- new um, cool sports cars, actually. Um, well, sports design ds3s um they really stand out on the road um but i haven't left the music industry i will emphasize that um, i'm still running the record label world domination records if you like dance music or alternative music head over to www.worlddominationrecords.com or you can google gaz reynolds um, and you get about 5,000 listings on google um it's a bit of a bombardment really <laughs> So, okay, uh, so anyway, it's coming up now. It's uh, 9.30. By the way, we're going to be playing a couple of those records. And, Gaz, I have a surprise for you as well. Uh, I haven't told you anything about this yet. Oh. Uh, I will tell you about <laughs> it uh, after this. We're going to oh, have the I'm travel. Oh, I'm all excited now. Uh, we have the travel, and then uh, I've got a song called Deep that we're going to play just after the travel. Uh, right now it is 9.30. And looking at the travel in the Harrow and the Greater London area, there are all sorts of problems if you're trying to get around on the transit system this morning. Uh, Let's start with the Central Line. No service between Acton and West Ryslip. Uh, Then there is a part closure of the DLR between Bank, Tower Gateway, Canning Town, Canary Wharf, and also between Stratford and Canary Wharf. For the Jubilee Line, uh, there is no service between Finchley Road and Waterloo. The Overground has no service between New Cross Gate and West Croydon Crystal Palace. For the Waterloo and City Line, they are completely closed. There are minor delays on the Bakerloo Line due to faultier equipment. Uh, The same is true for the Circle Line, and the same is true for the Hammersmith and City Line and the Metropolitan Line. The faulty equipment just sort of put the whole system in chaos. Uh, Those are now all minor delays, though, so things are looking up. Uh, If you're trying to head out of the Harrow Wheelstone Station, things are looking good, except going to London Euston. That's running just a few minutes late. Everything is fine on the Harrow Wheels, uh, Harrow on the Hill Station, and uh, the airports are running just well. Uh, Perfect. No problems at all. And the roads, uh, no problems there. That just leaves us with the weather. And we have clouds, sunshine throughout the day, a chance of some rain as well. I should reach 8 degrees. It'll be clear and cold overnight with lows dipping down to the freezing point. And it will bring us a chilly start to Monday as well. Uh, But then we'll have some sunshine for Monday, a mix of clouds moving in by midday, some rain by the afternoon and into Monday evening. I should be around 10 degrees. And there'll be a mix of sunshine, clouds, and showers for Tuesday. Right now it's 4 degrees at 9.32. You're up to date. A great way to start your weekend. Breakfast on HCR. 
Okay, and I think what we'll do now is uh, just go directly to a song Gaz has brought in for us. It's called Deep on HCRFM. HCRFM and uh, Gaz Reynolds is with us. Uh, that was called Deep. I understand you wrote that. Uh, well, I, I write all of my uh, songs, um, but that one actually took four hours to write. Uh, it just suddenly came to me one day, and um, and I my friend Trina T, who you hear doing the uh, female vocals on there, I just thought she'd be perfect for that 
particular track. That's quite an old track now and I've actually in the process of re-recording that in a new style because um, uh, it was always one of my favourite sort of tracks. It's quite different from what I usually do which is dance and, and pop music. It's very pop rock orientated. Yeah. Now, are you the male vocal as well? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Who sorry, did you yeah. think it was? I wasn't. I didn't have a clue. Uh, I thought maybe George Michael had. Uh, <laughs> I don't know because it, 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 no, it uh, sounded really great. Oh, thank you. Uh, so now I told you about a surprise. I've got uh, you know every once in a while people contact me and they send in different things. Yeah. Uh, I, I've got this song which I want to play for you. Unfortunately, it, it isn't finished because uh, there was a hope that. Uh, we'd have it done before you were here, so it, it's it will be longer than this. But I just wanted you to take a listen to this new song. Okay. Uh, and it, it, uh, tell me what you think. Okay. okay. So here it is. A new song. We'll call it on HCR. And there it ends, uh, because as I said, it isn't quite finished yeah, yet. Yeah, it's interesting, though. Uh, interesting. So a few changes, uh, change-ups in there, sort of starts with a little African feel. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's, it's quite, it's, it's, got, um, it's got that complete contrast, doesn't it? Yeah. Does it have potential? I think so, definitely. Uh, do you know who the uh, artist is? Don't tell me it's you. It's me! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was. I knew it was a <laughs> trick. It was very good. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I I'm gonna hopefully finish that in the next couple of months. Join my record and, and, uh, label uh, with a band of artists. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna send it along to your record label, and <laughs> if I ever see even a pound of royalty, I will be <laughs> over the moon. Uh, of course, I'm, I'll also just plug it to death here on. <laughs> of course, with World Domination Records, yeah. my record label, you get worldwide distribution, so it means you're on iTunes, Amazon, yeah. every retail store, Spotify, um, anywhere you can think of, really. Yeah. So uh, no, I, and uh, I'm glad you didn't say it was absolute rubbish. No, I didn't think <laughs> yeah. so at all. It, actually, it's just, it's the kind of thing that I like yeah. on my label. Yeah. So, okay, great. Well, uh, I that's given me an incentive to go back and finish it now. Oh, good. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe you should remix one of my records. <laughs> I, I don't know. My 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 <laughs> skills are quite that good, but uh, uh, I'd need a bigger studio for that. <laughs> So, uh, so uh, we've got a few more songs from, from your label. Uh, do we want to look at another one of these just now? Yeah, I basically bought three of my tracks in, um, and uh, the next one on the list is In This House. You have played a version of this on uh, one of our previous interviews before. Um, something I was saying to you off-air as well, Gary, is um, this is my 117th radio interview. So um, 
congratulations and thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> 117 is a lucky number as well uh, uh, because any number that adds up to nine is lucky. So Mind you, I didn't think I was actually going to get to this interview because do you remember we, we, we've both been ill this week? Uh, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, I missed the show last week because I, it just, I had this flu. It sort of went away and I was feeling really good. And then uh, Saturday evening I started to feel a bit rough again. And last Sunday morning, I was just out cold. I was. Everybody uh, seems to be coming down with it. It's just spreading everywhere. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I was saying that, that maybe if I died, I'd feel better. I That's how so I was feeling sick, as well. Yeah. I was actually sitting next to my computer at the time when I started to feel ill. So naturally, I thought I had a computer virus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, let's. Don't worry, I'll have some new jokes <laughs> soon. <laughs> Good. Uh, let's take a listen to In This House on HCRFM. This is Hero Community Radio.
HCRFM. Yeah, it's called In This House. I'm here with Gaz Reynolds. Uh, Gaz, before we go on, I just uh, had an incoming breaking news. Satellite images via uh, French authorities have also shown potential debris in the southern area of the Indian Ocean that is being searched for flight MH370. Um, that is a latest story. So now they have three different satellite images all showing a similar debris. Uh, for the search for the missing flight. Um, let's hope it's not a false lead again. Uh, let's hope so. And uh, although it, it is unfortunate that it would uh, confirm the demise of the flight, at least it would give some comfort to those who are waiting to find out what has happened to their loved ones. That's uh, right. Very strange situation, that it's one. Very, very strange. Well, I actually thought UFOs initially, because <laughs> it just completely well, vanished off the... Exactly. And, uh, you know, there was talk even of a, a new uh, China Triangle. <laughs> I heard that as yeah. well, yeah. So uh, Now, uh, before we head on into uh, discussing music again, I, I just need to quickly tell you what's happening in the Harrow Town Center today as Active Harrow Weekend continues. Uh, if you want to try out some badminton, you can head on over to the Beacon Center uh, that between 3 and 5 this afternoon. There'll be ballroom dancing at the Harrow Arts Center between 4 and 4.45 basketball at the Harrow Leisure Center starting in just over an hour or so, 11 a.m. to noon. Carpet Bowls, a taster session there at the Beacon Session uh, Center between 12.30 and 2.30. Cycling experience at the Harrow Leisure Center between 12 and 2. And the Harrow Arts Center will have ballroom dancing. That's actually already started. So if you want to do some ballroom dancing, you better get underway quickly. That ends at 10.30. There'll be a golf tasting session at the Stanmore Golf Club from noon to 1 today. The Hive Gym will uh, also allow you to have a free pass uh, all day today if you're over 18. Though you have to be over 18 for that one. A taster session for older people uh, at the Harrow Art Center uh, in the Green Hill Room. Uh, that between 2 and 3 today. If uh, table tennis or whiff waff, as our mayor calls it, uh, the London mayor uh, calls it at the Beacon Center between 12.30 and 2.30. Uh, real tennis, uh, you know, the ones with the big rackets and the big balls, uh, not the table one, uh, at the Kenton Tennis Club between 12 noon and 3 o'clock. Uh, there'll be uh, 1 to 2, 1.30, a fast serve competition, a fun junior games at 2, and a mini tennis competition starting at 2.30, and it's open to all ages, including adults. A volleyball, if that's your thing, in the Beacon Center between 4 and 5, and yoga, if you want to make yourself into a pretzel uh, between 12 and 12.30, uh, you can join the yoga session at the Beacon Center. Uh, that is also only for 18s. So that's what's happening today in Harrow on your active Harrow day. Of course, we were at the uh, town center all day yesterday. Uh, uh, we weren't really broadcasting. Well, we sometimes broadcast from there. But Keith and a few other people were there. They were playing their music uh, while we were here in the studio playing our music. And then we would touch base with them every once in a while. Uh, so tell us uh, any anything else new for World Domination Records. Okay, well, the, the, the track you just played in this house, um, that's a, a track that I originally wrote when I was 14. Um, it got an awful lot of airplay around the world. It still continues to get a lot of airplay. In fact, it was actually played on the cycling show, which is um, a radio network out in Canada, but they broadcast that in America as well. That was last week. Um, and it, um, I wrote it when I was 14. Obviously, it's me singing on there with um, a friend of mine at the time. Unfortunately, she's passed away now, Viola Wills. She did the guest vocals on there. She was a huge disco diva. You m might be aware of her um, from the 70s and 80s. Um, she had quite a few big sort of international hits um, and unfortunately she passed away a couple of years ago um, but still to this day I love that track and it seems to have quite a big following still um, so I thought I'd share that with you I know you have played it once before on a yeah. previous show well it, it's certainly worth playing again though it's an excellent track thank so. you um, and we've got one more to play, and uh, it's it's now coming up about eight minutes before 10 o'clock. We'll have news at the top of the hour. Uh, should we go ahead and play Some Forgive? Okay, I'll just quickly tell you a little story sure. about this. Um, Some Forgive um, was released uh, back in, I think it was 2006 now, where it knocked Madonna off the world chart. She had hung up out at number one. And I knocked her off the top chart, <laughs> top of the chart, and went in at number one for four weeks. So um, this this record is a, another track that's got a big following to it, and um, still continues to get quite a lot of airplay. Um, and 
um, it's probably one of my favourite tracks. We actually shot the video in Russia. Um, it was it was done <laughs> rather rather quickly. I wouldn't go to Russia these days, though. I might add, but Russia was um, one of my all time favourite countries. I just find it very fascinating. Um, so um, yes, and uh, of course, all my tracks you can download from iTunes and all good retailers, or you can head over to my record label, which I own, World Domination Records, which is www.worlddominationrecords.com. Okay, and if you're following me on Twitter, it's New WDR. New WDR, yes, yep, on Twitter. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me just uh, then play. This is called Some Forgive.
HCRFM. Uh, that one's called Some Forgive. I thought it was done. Is yeah, it? it's uh, got it quite, a, quite a dramatic <laughs> long ending towards the end. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we just, at least I didn't step on any words, which I've been known to do from time <laughs> to time. Uh, yes, well, it is a live show, isn't it, of course? Yeah, it is. So, uh, are you going to stick around for a bit more? I am, um, well, well, I'll be heading off fairly soon because okay. um, the driving school demands my... Um, attention, but okay. I can hang around for a while longer. Okay, I've got news coming up just now, and then uh, we'll just chat for a couple minutes after that okay. on HCR. Okay. 